Josh Walsh with the Melvin Applications team. Uh, today is part two of the two video series for 3D Puff. Last week, Scott went over how to properly set up and design shop a 3D Puff design. Really great information. Scott is a digitizing wizard. That turned out absolutely great. I ran one of the hats over here, and you can see it is absolutely flawless. Like, it just looks phenomenal. I ran this on a flex fit cap. Um, so turned out really, really, really good. Yupon caps embroider so well. But yeah, 3D puff. I was using the three millimeter bodybuilder by Madeira. Uh, really great foam. I use it all the time. I really like how it sews out. It's nice and dense and it just works phenomenally. So um, I'm going to get into the operating system side of things. So I'm going to switch over my camera and we're going to kind of walk through the different settings. This doesn't take that long. Um, I'll also give you guys some tips and tricks for how to run it on the machine, how to clean it up, all that good stuff. So let me switch cameras real quick and we'll get rolling. All right, so you guys can see my desktop now. I'm in Malco OS. I have not loaded up this design yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to file, load design. And let's find that B. There it is. There it be. Okay. All right. So our next step is we're going to go in. Obviously, we've got to select our hoop under the red WACF. And you would 180 to design, unless you saved it in design shop, you know, previously. 180 uh, color sequence. So this is going to be the big part, right? So we're going to hit clear all here. And this first part of my design, this number one here, is the uh, the satin stitches down at the bottom, right? So that's not the puff part. So what we're gonna do, you know, you can go and you can hit your automatic colors. I'm just gonna click on the black because um, I have that up there. I don't have this blue load on the machine, so we'll simulate it with the red, no big deal. But after that, what you wanna do is you wanna hit a hold. So it's gonna lay down that first part of the design, right? And we got those satins down. Now it's time for the 3D puff. So we'd hit a hold and then we'd walk over to our machine and tape on your foam, hold your foam, use a rubber band, whatever method you guys use. I'd love to hear how uh, everybody out in the out in the real world and not in a office here is holding down their puff. Um, I know in my shop, I always, I like the rubber band trick. Uh, painter's tape works really well. Uh, Madeira also makes a sticky foam, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that worked really well. So let me know down below, uh, comment and tell us how you guys hold down your foam. I'd love to hear it. So after that, we're gonna pick our secondary color, which is our 3D puff, all right? So color number nine. And from there, I'm gonna click on the color with the foam and I'm gonna highlight this uh, three millimeter puff there. So what mine's doing in this adjust here is it's adjusting this lower feed limit so that it's now at a 30. So you don't have to go over to your machine and adjust it, it's gonna, it's gonna adjust for you. Um, I mean, it's back here in the OS. So after that, we're gonna hit apply. I'm gonna hit okay. And what I like to do, I found on this hat, uh, these flex fits, Richardson's, they're kind of running up there on the X machines, you know, a little bit high. So I'm running uh, my lower limit at about a 16 to an 18. And I like to personally cap my 3D puff. This is where I use a maximum. I don't use my maximum too often, um, but on puff, I do. You don't want it to get too carried away and run it. Uh, so you're getting super loopy stuff there. So I usually cap mine between 60 and 70. Um, 65 is a good one. I ran this one at a 60 and it ran awesome. It just looked rock solid. Um, another suggestion I have is I like to run my 3D puff down closer 750 uh, to, I'd say, 850. But 750 seems to be a really sweet spot on that 3D puff. Um, what are you guys running your 3D pop at? I'd love to hear that as well. Um, really, uh, like to just, uh, kind of see what you guys are doing out in the field, but that's where I run mine. I ran this one at 750 and it sewed up flawlessly. I did another one at 800 and it sewed up really well. Um, but the 750 was kind of the sweet spot there. So, uh, as Scott mentioned in the last video as well, I would use the, um, those KK needles. Um, otherwise, you know, you can run a 7511, you can run 8012, but those KKs, shank on those are really awesome for the, uh, for the 3D puff design. I'm gonna switch back to my other wick and, um, I got a couple other things that's good for the 3D puff. 
You get this camera swapped. Um, when you're running your 3D pop, you know, there's always going to be cleanup. You're always going to get some of that foam sticking through there. As Scott mentioned, um, you can use a flat little um, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. I mean, snippers, I don't recommend that. You can start damaging your threads a little bit there. But your biggest, uh, the most helpful tool I've learned, learned in 3D pop is the heat gun. This will shrink up that polyester thread. Um, and it's really just going to clean up your logo quite a bit. So I always hit these, you know, it's a little bit more work, but you're charging extra for these 3D pop designs, right? So um, that's pretty much it on the settings, you guys. Um, one other thing, when you're running your foam on your hat on the machine, make sure that after you do your hold, you go to the machine, you put on your foam, crank your presser foot all the way up on your machine. Um, you want it to be clearing over that foam and just getting you a nice saw. So run your clicks normal that you would on a hat. I think on this uh, Yupong, I ran mine about three clicks up from the bottom, maybe four. Um, but run that part normal. And then um, on your hold, just make sure you click up the presser foot. So that's the beauty of having an adjustable presser foot, right? We can adjust for different garments, you know? So um, 3D Puff hats. Pretty cool stuff. They look pretty good. And uh, yeah, as long as you have all your files set up right and you have your settings set up correctly, you know, you're going to have no issues with this and you'll be able to rock and roll all day long on this uh, 3D Puff and give your customers something that really stands out to the crowd. So um, if you guys have any other questions, you know, please comment down below. You can always email us over at applications at malco.com and we are more than happy to answer anything that you guys have questions on. So. 3D Puff, awesome stuff. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. We will see you next week.